Hey everyone, so really cool surface modeling tutorial here and I will show you how you can combine those smooth shapes and forms with those hard edges here and really cool. And the interesting thing is that you see, okay, this one I messed up, but yeah, we will do it in a tutorial correctly. You see that all of those, yeah, cuts and interesting shapes are smoothly and perfectly transitioned here into the round surface that we have at the bottom. And maybe you don't see why the hell you would need that. But if we go here to my helmet from my helmet course, you see that we have exactly the same principle. So we have here those smooth round shapes and forms and then we have those hard edged cuts inside which are smoothly transition into the surface right so as you see this cut starts just out of nowhere right so it's exactly the same and you can use that for a perfume bottle or some product design something with where you want to really add some really high quality details. And just very quick reminder, if you're interested in what I will teach you here and you want to learn how to apply that to yeah, much more professional, much more exciting products like this helmet, you can check out first link below this video, everything about this helmet surface modeling course. And there's also a beginner introduction into surface modeling. What is G0, G1, tangency, curvature, how to set up curves, faces to get smooth transitions and surfaces, which we have here in this beautiful helmet design. First link below this video. Let's jump in into our tutorial. All right, so very simple. We start here with a new uh, project. And again, this is not an absolute level zero beginner tutorial because you need to understand some basics of surface modeling, which you can learn in the courses or in one of my hundred tutorials. So check this them out first. But we want to start with a circle. Can be any form, but we need a base, right? And now we just want to create a nice shape so it could be anything, but I will just use here the control point curve and just snap here to the end and drag that here along the uh, Z axis and just play a little bit around with the shape that you like. And very important here, those two points. So this, this point has to be on this exact uh, so this point has to be on the exact height as this guy here. So just select it, press G and with control click. So when we will revolve it, that it will everything be smooth. So select this curve and now we just want to uh, revolve it or if the curves are touching, you can also just use a sweep. So select the sweep, select the circle and we get this really funny balloon shape here and delete the curve and delete this edge, we don't really need it. And now let's just split it up. So we just use it on one quarter so we can just mirror it over everywhere to make things simple. So shift A, create a line from the front, cut into the body, delete the right side and go to the left view again, cut into the body. And below here you see my shortcuts, right? This is control command and this is alt see if you need it and let's delete this guy here so we are just left with one quarter and now we want to create our first cut so we will create the line just somewhere here and this bottom here we will not touch so we will attach everything to that little piece so it will smoothly transition into our perfectly sphere right so i don't know you could you can use that in one million different ways, but you could, could build something below that that has a perfectly spherical shape, but you have all that stuff going on on the top, right? But yeah, anyway, so again, Shift F is my shortcut for the control point curve here on the right. And let's just add nice, interesting shape here. So something like that. And now we just want to join both of those curves and C cut into this face. And we don't need this 
whole piece here and we don't need the curve because now we have this hole and this is why surface modeling is so nice. We have full control because now we can rebuild here curves as we want. And this curve will have a little bit of a distance and we will revolve the surface. So we will create another balloon kind of, and then we will again create a line where we want it and cut here everything away and just fill it with a chamfer. So if that was too much for you, definitely check out the first course. Otherwise, just follow along. But it's actually pretty simple here. So let me again, con again, control point curve. But now the most important thing is we can't just snap somewhere here and just create a line. So let me just just to show it to you. So if you would just randomly create a line and you want to sweep it around this edge. So you have to select first this edge and shift D duplicate. And now if you sweep this curve around this edge and okay, and if you delete that, and if you go here in the reflection mode, then you see it's not smooth at all because this curve is not tangent to this edge here. So this surface will not have a smooth transition, right? Which is the most important thing always when we are doing surface modeling. So let's go back and we have to do something very simple here. We have to take this edge and shift D duplicate it again, because now we have the curve and now we have some information which we can use. So again, if you use control point curve and if you snap to this point, Bam. Now you see you can drag out a tangent line. So this tangent line will uh, follow this curve here. So create your first points that it's tangent. And now you can do what you want because at this point it will always be tangent. So by the way, if you don't know what is tangency and all of those words, you can also just download the PDF below this video. It's like all of the basics about surface modeling explained. So yeah, so it can be very helpful for you. But now again, let's create an interesting shape. So again, something yeah, just for the tutorial, something very basic, maybe something, I don't know, just something like that. Why not? And now we have to use this curve and attach it to this edge and revolve it just around this edge. So it will smoothly transition here into this face. So again, we, because we can't use edge for snapping, or by the way, maybe we can, let's just try, but no, we need the curve. So just select this edge, shift D and take this curve and now sweep. And now you can select this curve, press okay. And if you delete everything and press shift E or here show edges, you see now it's perfectly smoothly transitioning. Amazing. So now we have some mess here at the top, but what we need is just a little piece here of the surface. So you can press shift F and again, just snap here to this uh, edge here and just create some points or yeah, just create a curve that you would like to see. So something like that. And now use this curve again to cut this yeah, piece here away, which we don't need. So right click and now select this face, delete it, delete the curve. We don't need it. And now if you press four, select the sheet and join, we have one surface and okay, this curve <laughs> was a little bit too crazy. So obviously spent more time and with what you actually want to do. It's just a technique that I'm showing you here. And if you now select those two uh, edges and press L to loft, you can basically, if you want to give it like uh, directly a organic form, then you can just leave G1 or if you want more control, give it G0 and shift click here, G1 and press forward, select everything, join again. And now you see we have this kind of stuff and yeah, it looks very funny. And now watch again 
what I told you two or three minutes ago and do exactly the same with this. So create the line and cut this here away, create a new line, which is tangent here and then fill the gaps. And as a little practice and don't just click away, literally try that to add one more of this step kind of. And afterwards, if you're interested, check out first link below this video. I have an amazing surface modeling course where you will learn in a streamlined step-by-step -step way how to create this helmet and, and how to actually use those techniques and workflows in a real world uh, product. And yeah, I have like dozens and dozens and dozens of positive reviews. And obviously I have over 100 tutorials on my YouTube channel, so free tutorials, so you can learn from them as well. But if you value your time and if you just want the absolute guided step-by-step -step full process from start to finish to something what is really, uh, yeah, I think amazing, then check out first link in the description, leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.